Hello students and congratulations on finishing a Tech 2. Well, not quite finishing a Tech 2. You finished the project, but now you need to do a proof of work video. And what a proof of work video is, it's a replacement for quizzes and tests in a way that me as your teacher can understand you as a learner and how you're learning and uh, how this process affected you as a learner. Okay, so I have some reflective questions that I need you to answer to the camera, kind of like how I'm talking to this camera here. So let's make a proof of work video. First thing you need to do is grab your MacBook and then go to the proof of work video booth. Okay, it's just over here. So follow me over here. You just go over here in the corner of the studio and then here is the proof of work booth and you can just go ahead and close the curtain. Okay, now that you're sitting comfortably inside the booth, you need to take the uh, Yeti Nano microphone and plug it into your MacBook, okay? I have to use the little adapter because mine's a, a MacBook Pro, so I need to use the USB-C adapter, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Okay, so we've got that plugged in, and now I'm going to open up my MacBook, get it logged in, and let's get into QuickTime Player where we're gonna do the recording, okay? Uh, and what you're gonna do during this thing is you're going to answer uh, four questions and it's up here on this list and there's four different categories so pick one question from each category uh, Please do not pick the first question. I've, I've heard that one answered about a million times So just pick one question there that's applicable to the project you you worked on some aren't applicable to whatever project you might have But anyhow, you're going to answer those questions to the camera on your MacBook and get recorded with the uh, Yeti microphone right here so uh, let me switch over to um, getting the camera a little bit closer as so you can see what's on the screen, okay? Okay, the first thing we need to do now that we have the Yeti Nano plugged in, the MacBook is open, let's go into system preferences and make sure that the sound, we're gonna use the, the microphone on the Nano and not the microphone from here. And there's a couple things we need to do there. So I've opened up system preferences, I'm gonna go to sound, open that up, and for input, I'm gonna say not my internal microphone, which is just the little tiny pinhole mic on the side of your MacBook, but let's use the Yeti Nano and then um, kind of talk into it. So you want these little levels to bounce up near the top here. And as I'm talking, Mary had a little lamb, Mary had a little lamb. You can see they're stopping about right here. So I'm gonna turn up the, the gain as that's called on there. Mary had a little lamb, Mary had a little lamb. Do you see how it's bouncing? You don't want it ever to touch the last one, okay? You don't want it that high because then it's just gonna sound really garbly and it's gonna be what's called clipping. It's just recorded too loud. So as you in here going, Mary had a little lamb, I'm gonna turn down my down just a little bit because I am touching that last one. Mary had a little lamb, Mary had a little lamb. Everything is sounding good now. So I've got my Yeti Nano selected, I've adjusted my record level, and everything's looking good there. So now we can go to QuickTime Player. Now I'm gonna just go up to my magnifying glass, QUI, usually it'll just find it with QUI, QuickTime Player, hit return, and it's launched QuickTime Player. But I know you're thinking, Mr. Flick, uh, nothing changed, there is no QuickTime Player. But there really is. All you gotta do is look right here and it says QuickTime Player. It is an app that has no interface until you actually go to record something. So there's no interface happening here at all. So I see that it's playing up here and I, under the file menu, I go down to new movie recording and you might need to agree that it can use your camera and that um, you can use the microphone and those type of things. Now you can see me, you can see the camera that's recording us right now. Everything's happening with my camera right now. It's looking really good. And now one last check you need to do. Down here where the record button is, there's a little upside down arrow and I'm just going to uh, click on that and make sure that it is using the Yeti Nano microphone. It probably is, but just make sure it's using the Yeti Nano. Okay, so everything's good now. It's got the camera working, everything's like that. So now here we go. I'm gonna start answering the questions as if I'm making a proof of work video. Okay, let me just adjust that so my, my face is all in it. Okay, everything looks adjusted well. I look up here, I see the question, and the first one I'm going to answer is number five here. In what ways do you think need, you need to improve? And so uh, let's pretend that um, I was working on animation or something like that. Okay, so I'm ready to do that. And so I press record. You don't make any of these other adjustments here, okay. So press record. Okay, Mr. Flick, question number one is going to be number five. In what ways do, I think you, do you think you need to improve? Okay, when I was working on the animation one, I, uh, at first, I don't think I made um, arms on one of my guys, and then later on in the story, it needed to have arms on it. So I think one of the better ways to improve is to plan out the animation more. 
Okay, do you, do you see? Okay, I'm going to cut, cut, cut. Do you see what I'm doing there? I'm just giving an honest answer. Nothing's written down, nothing's memorized. You're just giving an honest answer about maybe something you needed to improve on. And then you just go on to the next question. And you read the question aloud so I know what question you're answering. Uh, next one is from the next group here. Um, let's see. What did you find frustrating? Okay, I'll do number 11. What did you find frustrating about it? Animation takes a lot of time. I worked for two weeks on animation, like four class periods, and all I got done was like 36 seconds of animation. It's frustrating, but in the end, once I saw my movie, it looked really good, but that is a frustrating thing about animation. Okay, cut. Do you see how you're just gonna do this? You're gonna go question after question after question in one take, you can just do all of it. I don't mind if you stumble and you need to redo it, because only only really me is, is you know, I'm the only one that's gonna watch this, this video. Okay, so once you have it done, you just press the stop button down here, You've answered four questions. Here it is, and I can go ahead and listen to it. Okay, Mr. Flick, question number one is going to be number five in what? Okay, so that's that's the video, so we have it. It still isn't saved yet, though. It's just sitting here as untitled. So we've got to go up here to File, Save. Okay, I'm gonna call it P-O-W for proof of work, P-O-W, animation, and then just like my name, Brad Flickinger. Okay, so I've got POW animation, Brad Flickinger. It's just gonna be easier if you put, you know, that, so I know what file this is. Like if I get it on, in my, on my Google Drive, I'm like, oh, this is your POW, your proof of work video for the animation tech too. So just give me something that I can work off of here and put your name on it. I'm gonna save this to my desktop so I know where to find it. All right, save that to the desktop. And now it is saved to the desktop. I can go ahead and close it because now it's on the desktop. And when I'm ready to turn things in, now you just go back to, um, in this case, let me just go here and go back to mytech2s.com. We could, we could actually turn this in. So then we could go to whatever grade here, let's say I'm seventh grade, and then go to, uh, in this case, our example was animation. I just go to animation. Okay, and then I, there's the turn in folder. I click on the turn in folder. That's going to take me to the, the Google Drive. And then um, I can, once I'm in here, I can just make a new folder for me. So just make sure to make a new folder because you're about to put things into it. So the new folder could be, you know, just, I'm just going to call it Brad Flickinger. Okay. Okay, once I have that, now I'm going to open up that folder and I can drag in my proof of work video and then drag in my animation or whatever project you might be working on. Maybe if it's the art, you draw, drag in your three pieces of art and your proof of work video. So there'd be four files in there. With animation, there's just gonna be two files. I don't know what you're doing, coding or whatever, but always just make a folder for yourself, put the proof of work video in it, put the files in there, and, uh, and then the last thing you need to do is go back to the website here and then go to the home page. And on the home page, you just fill out the, uh, I earned a tech two but button right there. I finished a tech two and then you're you're good to go. Yeah, that's that's how to do a proof of work video.